All right, guys. Well, hopefully you can see stuff. I tried to get enough lighting in here to kind of light stuff up for you guys. Uh, I'm out in the shop. It's a little hard to get to some lighting in here, but this is one of those uh, dash... I don't know what you want to call it. I'd, I'd call it a storage bin. I know you're supposed to put like a tablet or something in it. Got it off of Amazon. It was pretty cheap. Um, it looks like it's molded and fits really good. I kind of asked some guys on the the Gen 1, Gen 2 site about, hey, what do you think about uh, the Can-Am one? They said, get the one off Amazon. It's just as good. It fits good. And it's cheap. Way cheap. So... I thought I would try to show you guys here how I'm going to install it. You can see that. So I took my windshield loose, and uh, I know this is going to sound weird, but we used to have to do something very close to this back in the day when the Ford Contours were around. Um, they had a problem with the dashes would curl up on them, and we had to get into tight quarters back here and run screws and stuff into it um, and I thought I would use that process also today but I do have to find where I put my bit there's my bit so this kit you have to put two screws you have to put a screw on each side of the dash there and then you want to make sure that you've got it kind of where you want it it kind of wants to sit in a particular spot which is kind of nice um, I made sure my door opened up and all that. Let me show you guys. You have to drill two quarter inch holes here, but you have to put screws in back over there. Well, if you've got a windshield in it, your windshield's in the way for getting in there. So, the thought was, is you take a quarter inch air ratchet, and you put a screwdriver bit in it, because here's your screw that you have to put in with a washer. I haven't tried this yet, and it looks like it's going to fit. So, hold that off of my windshield. Well, apparently that plastic's tough, or it's not in the right spot. I think the plastic is just tough. Actually, there's... A couple dimples there where maybe the original one lines up and maybe this one would line up there if you could see back there it looks like it would so maybe I need to just drill into that spot without the thing in there let's try that and if not we might get a drill bit or something to run in there Okay, so that was easier to run into there. It's a softer spot than that dash. I didn't notice that before. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hopefully, that matches up to the holes that look like it would. Looks like that one will. Let's see if we can get in here and kind of fill that hole that I piloted. This would be easier probably with the windshield out. Yes, I know. I know. Just didn't want to have to take the roof loose and everything else. Uh, this is a factory Can-Am plastic windshield. And I do not like it. And we're putting a glass one in. So, but I didn't want to wait to put this in. I wanted to see how it fit. There we go. That's pretty secure. Now, close that up uh, let me let me figure out a new place to put you guys hang on okay 
Uh, now you're supposed to grab this and pop it off. It holds pretty good. Try not to break anything. Come on. It's kind of cold right now, so. Trying to see why it was so tough coming off. Um, and then you push a button, drop it down, and they want you to drop that switch plate out because they don't want you to drill through your wiring. So take your a quarter inch drill bit. Have very sharp bits. Why it just went in there like it was nothing and then you take your smaller screws hopefully you can see put a washer on it put them in and then you've got a washer and a nut to go underneath nuts Doesn't want to pull it all the way in there I don't think maybe I hit it with the drill bit and moved it out of the way um, and then it is a need a T25 Torx bit and a 10 mil Actually, we have an air ratchet, quarter-inch air ratchet, right here. What's going on there? Screw has. Huh. The screw wasn't wasn't machined. Or maybe it's got a bit broke in it. I don't know. Can you guys see that? That's kind of weird. Let me. Okay, that battery's about dead. Uh, let me see if I can get that dug out, maybe. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, maybe I'll have to go get another bolt for it. Weird. Give me a minute. All right, did not want to come out. So, uh, instead of worrying about having so much OCD going on in my head, we will just leave that hardware and we'll tighten this one over here first try not to over tighten it and then we'll put a 10 millimeter on the ear ratchet we'll see if we can hold the head of the damaged fastener tighten it that way because I don't see myself taking this on and off any time at all I mean put it on and you're done There we go. Very, very, very secure. Nice. I don't really think I'm ever going to put uh, 
an iPad there, but I could easily probably put my phone in there maybe. I mean, definitely not sideways. I don't have a very big phone. Uh, anyways, but that's putting in the uh, electronic holder, cubby hole, whatever you want to call it. It's got pretty good space in there. And then obviously you can put your iPad or, you know, some device here. And then it looks like it's got provisions on it. You could probably put your, uh, sorry for the lighting guys. You could put some kind of phone mount or something on it, which my wife might actually do that. Um, but it, it installed pretty easy. Just use the two little dimples that were up there to start with. I'm going to reattach my windshield for now. Um, it is going to get a glass one. But uh, that's, that's a nice little addition for some storage. All right, guys. So let me show you why it was so hard to get it off. You need to go underneath and you need to pull these little screws off. There's an 8 millimeter bolt there and an 8 millimeter bolt over here on this other side. You need to pull those off. This bracket's supposed to stay under there. That's why it was so hard to get mine out. Um, so I'm going to pull that bracket off real quick, snap it back up in there, and then you just bolt it back on. But there are two 8 millimeter bolts. One in there and one in there. You can get to them from underneath. So... Hopefully you watch this video all the way through and you pull those two bolts off first instead of pulling that bracket out with it. That face ought to come off a lot easier. Alright, well, I'm still happy with it. I like my deal. Let's, let's get on to something else. Alright, so there's the bracket snapped back into place. So after you do that, let's see if I can do this one-handed now. Probably so. Just snap your snap your plastic back in and then you got two small bolts to put back in they're eight millimeter so anyways there's your new uh your new electronic holder sitting in your can-am commander and i think they're the same as like the maverick sport and the maverick trail so anyways thanks for watching guys